What's up guys, welcome back to Sundown Audio Unofficial, your home for all the behind the scenes footage here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek, and this is going to be another episode of Tech Time. Today on this episode, we're going to teach you how to DMM your subwoofer. Alright guys, I got the SA12D4 here laid out for you to use for demonstration. And I've got my X-Tech DMM. We love these little DMMs around the shop. They read good, work perfect for us, and they're very inexpensive. So first thing you're always going to want to do before you DMM your subwoofer, check your DMM out. Take your leads, touch them together, and see if you get any resistance. If you do, that's fine, as long as it's consistent. So if you consistently 0 0.2, 0 0.3, you know to subtract that resistance from the resistance you're reading on your subwoofer. Preferably get you a good DMM that shows zero resistance like this X-Tech does. Next step, make sure and get your leads into the subwoofer properly. Get them in here good. Don't have anything funky sticking anywhere. You'd be surprised how many people have trouble just attaching leads to the terminals. So make sure you've got a good attachment here metal on metal don't stick your plastic all the way through so it can read good next thing it's best to have your sub out on a flat open area to get a good reading and i'm going to show you why so the voice coil is inside your magnet your motor and there's some electromagnetics going on and it can change your reading so you see we're getting a reading here Watch what happens when I press on the sub. It's going to change. So I see guys all the time, they're in their system, and in their car, they're trying to read, read a subwoofer doing something, and then they're, they're leaning on the sub like this. They got their arm leaning on it, and they're wondering why their DMM's all over the place. They're getting funky readings. Or they're at a car show, there's people basing out everywhere, stuff's booming. They're in there trying to read their sub, and the whole time their sub's sitting there vibrating, because it's getting vibrations from all the other cars beating around them, and they're wondering why they can't DMM their subwoofer properly. So try and get it isolated, get it out on a flat table so it can rest. Sometimes even having your subwoofer laying a funky way, standing up or an angle or anything, I've seen the breeze blowing across the subwoofer can make it read funny on your DMM. So that's it, short and sweet, to the point. Take precautions when DMM in your subwoofer. Make sure you do it the right way. Some of that might seem like common sense to a bunch of y'all, but I promise you, it's not common sense to everybody. We get questions about things like that all the time here at the shop. Guys are trying to read their system, read their subwoofer. They're getting all kinds of crazy readings, don't know why. It could be the leads, the DMM, something they're doing in their system, all kinds of things. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Remember, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, Click that thumbs up button, give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Till next time.